So The Goon. The Goon is a comic that's set in a small southern town in the United States around the Depression era. And this town's got a lot of problems. There's zombies everywhere, vampires, assorted other monsters. What they really need is someone to sort it out. They need some kind of hero. What they got is The Goon. The Goon is a thug. The Goon is the head of the organized crime of that town. And the only reason he would have to get in the way of any kind of monster that was eating people is because he doesn't want anyone else running in on his turf. Or maybe he's not so bad. Maybe he's actually more of a good guy. It's really hard to tell. It's not really important. What's important is that The Goon is a really great comic. The main characters of The Goon are The Goon, who is uh, the enforcer for the Labrezio family, Frankie, his sidekick, and the villainous Nameless Priest, who is responsible for the zombie epidemic. This is a really excellent comic, but I can't stress enough that it is very much not suitable for children. So The Goon is this horror comic with heavy elements of surreal comedy. In fact, the author uses this basic premise to sort of skewer familiar archetypes and tropes. Uh, in some issues he's making fun of Anne Rice vampires, uh, in other ones he's generally just making fun of zombies. It's really quite funny. It starts off like really atmospheric and the atmosphere is conveyed very well and then the horror elements will be very strong and then they'll just run into the goon and the goon just hits things and then the horror elements stop dead and the comedy begins. As I said, the comic has mostly a surrealist comic tone but after a certain point it becomes more tragic. In uh, volume 6 it really hits home. Uh, volume 6 of the goon is, states very explicitly that uh, this ain't funny. Uh, it's a completely tragic story and covers the goon's backstory. From that point on, the tragedy of the goon is kind of highlighted and he becomes a much more interesting character. The humour is still there, but at the same time you realise that the goon is a very sad character who's just trying to do his best in the world. And even though he puts on a gruff face, he's actually a nice guy. He just doesn't let anyone see it. Uh, for brevity's sake, I'll be mostly focusing on the goon and the premise, but there's a lot of other really great characters and storylines. There's uh, Dr. Hieronymus Alloy, who's this crazy, gold-plated, mad scientist. There are these horrible orphan children who in a normal comic, and it's kind of played up, would be like his, his young teen adventure squad. But in this comic, they're just awful ra They're just awful vandals. They're terrible. They're terrible people. They're terrible. And there's also the buzzard who gets spotlighted later on, who's such an intriguing character. I'd actually like to see a series that's just him. If you're looking for an excellent comedy comic with elements of horror, then I heartily recommend The Goon. If you're looking for something else, then stay tuned to graphic details and we'll have more reviews up later.